Hi guys, on his way to Blackpool, We're going to Grantham's, the art shop at Grantham's. Uh, it's miserable weather, I tell you. It's just a joke. It's starting to rain. Don't know if you can see that. I'll try to hold it steady. So I'll check back in later. So thanks guys, see you in a bit. Bye. Back to Blackpool now. I might be able to show you Blackpool Tower in a minute. It's so over way in the distance. There's Muttley Lull. <laughs> my chauffeur. <laughs> Say hi guys. Hi guys. <laughs> I'll check back in a minute. We're just trying to get round this bendy bit. And then I'll be able to show you. Keep missing it. <laughs> we just got to go down this straight road. Well, it's stopped raining anyway, but it's overcast. It's not as hot today. So I'll check back in in a minute, guys. You can see Blackpool Tower right in front of me. Yay! Sunny Blackpool. Take second exit to see Simon's. Oh, shut up, sat nav woman. Don't second exit, it's first. <laughs> oh, we always get an exit wrong, though. We're nearly there. We're going to the printers and I'm going to see about me uh, Evans Garden getting framed. Ooh, through the tunnel. Continue 0.5 miles. Check back in a minute, guys. See if we can zoom in on the tower a bit. There you go. It's our famous Blackpool Tower. <laughs> and then on to the right, we've got the football stadium. Which is pretty cool. Blackpool Football Stadium. And roundabout, take second exit to see Simon's Way. Oh, we're on a cobbled road now, a bit bumpy. And this is just coming into the front end of Blackpool, that will coach take people. Take first exit to see Simon's Way. There's the Blackpool Tower, isn't that cool? It's like the Eiffel Tower, but smaller. <laughs> Whoa, we went and got around the corner. Sorry guys, that made a good decision. The waves are crashing in today. <laughs> a bit of a breeze on the promenade now. A black pool. In point one miles, turn left on New Bolly Street, then turn left. Hyper of activity because it's summer season. It's really busy. People just walking in the road, you know, like they do. Turn left on New Bolly Street, then turn left. So we're at Grantham's, so I said I'd show you some stuff. Um, these are quite good quality as well. I've got these, these mixed media pads. And they'll take acrylic, watercolours, anything, you know what I mean? So they're quite good. I have a few of them. What's these? And these are nice as well. Acrylic. Oh, what are these? They're quite nice. Oh, they're blocks. They're pretty cool. So I've got all these goodies to go at, guys. I have permission to film in here, as long as I don't film people. So I'll just take you around to the paints. They've everything. They've inks. System 3 inks. They've all stamping stuff. Little stampers. It's great. It's like Christmas for us IT people, isn't it? So there's nobody up here, so I'm alright filming up here. It's all sorts. It's really cool, isn't it? The spray paints, they do all the pastels here. You can get them in separate sticks. These are ink tents blocks. Now these are what I use, I've showed you on my channel, these ink tents blocks. So you can buy them individually, which is cool, isn't it? Instead of buying, you know, the whole set. But the, all, the whole set is available. They do the ink tents pencils. They do all the watercolour pencils separate, so that's cool. We've got the metallic. They do the metallic in those as well. The Derwent Light Fast. So that's pretty cool, because I have the Derwent ink tents blocks and they'll be down here I have these ones I've got the doing pencils it's 
to so we're the paint section guys so in here this is where you can get all your Posca pens from so you can buy them individual as well they're all in a big cabinet that's cool isn't it look at all them colours and they do all the spray paints for you guys I know John Barber is a spray paint artist so that'd be cool bit of a shout out for you John <laughs> You've got all your spray paints, your Posca pens, and you've got your cheaper brand of acrylics, which I do have in white. So they're cool, they're only $5.98 for a big tube of them. They come in all various colours, so that's cool, isn't it? Good monthly. <laughs> then we've got the System 3, Jadalian Rowney. And they go into the bigger tubes. I do have some of these. I do find them all right. And we're going into the Kryla paints, which you know I like. I use on my channel. See the Kryla. It's a fabulous. Have you, well, you'll have seen me use them before. Then you got into the oil paints. They've got all inks, separate inks as well, and acrylics. And you go into the biggest section of the old tubes. They're a good brand as well. More oil paints. And then you've got the Winsor and Newton oil paints. They're nice. Chile, I use these. And you've got the Griffin Arclive ones as well. They dry a bit faster. And you've got your normal oils, which I use these normal ones, and the Winsor & Newton. You've got Liquitex, soft-bodied acrylics. They're nice, aren't they? So yeah, you've got the Liquitex, soft-bodied acrylic paints, which are pretty cool. And then you've got the acrylic Winsor & Newton, which I use, which you'll see me using acrylics. And then they've got the Winsor & Newton, the Galleria set, which are also a good quality paint. You've got all the Liquitex here. Every colour you could want. Then you've got your watercolour pans, which you can buy separately as well, which that's a good thing, isn't it? You just write the colour down with the code. And you've got the little tubes. They're in the Winsor & Newton watercolour tubes. Got more Liquitex. Liquitex acrylic gouache. For you gouache people, which I know there is. That's cool. And then you've got the, uh, these are nice paints. French artist watercolour, the Sienna paints. These are nice for watercolouring. Because you've got the honey in them. So they're nice. And we've got my favourite again in the Atelier. Oh, just see the. So I'm in a light window here. So this is, I like these, the Atelier Interactive. So we've got a big range of those. All the brushes. Oh, it's so excited. Got all your mediums down here as well. Which I use in the Atelier brand. See so all them brushes. Well, you could be here for a month just trying to pick a brush. So we've got a great selection of brushes. Oh, these are fancy, aren't they? Look at these guys. Oh, these are quite cool, aren't they? I like the nifty handles on them. They're nice. Oh, I like the feel of that. You've got the really huge big brushes when you they're nice and varnishing because they're really beautiful and soft. So that's cool. <coughs> then over here we've got the golden paints. So they do every brand, which is pretty awesome. That I I use anyway, you know what I mean? Got all the colours in the golden the colour wheels. 
Got your Winsor and Newton sets. Oh, sorry, that on my finger. Got some gouache here, which is quite nice. You've got a nice big tube of gouache. I've done some brushes. <coughs> Sap green, yeah, I could do with. I didn't get sap green, did I? I'm thinking it's not like that olive. Yeah, well, be somewhat similar. I'll have a darker one. That's what's that? Yeah, that's a, more for me. How much is? What's that colour? Golden ochre. Have I got that? No. Hello yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed that little review, that little vlog. <laughs> Good way, innit? We're on his way home now, ready for a cup of tea. Oh, there's some caravans there. Oh, they look nice. Huntley's driving. You can't see, I've got you wrong way around. But thanks for watching anyway, guys. See you soon. Bye.